All right, you're on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about inconsistencies, and it's a topic that you can relate to pretty much anything in life, relationships, everything. But today I'm going to go ahead and talk about it within yourself. So the quote that I'm going to be discussing says, the only completely consistent people are the dead, and it's quoted by Huxley. <clears throat> As college students, I'm sure like we sit around sometimes thinking, like, why are we doing this? Why are we coming to class every morning? Why are we waking up at 7 a.m. to come see Richard Kirkham? But, <laughs> but the goal of college is to obviously get a degree, and you can only do that with consistency. So I'm going to talk about three major um, ways that you can keep yourself consistent and accountable, one being always look at the end goal. Um, if you don't show up to class, you will get dropped or you will fail or you'll have to withdraw. Um, therefore, you're going to have to take a different route to get a degree. It's going to be longer. It's just going to be a harder battle. <clears throat> the second way you can stay consistent is to just think about all the money that you're putting into things. Like, for example, college, as I was saying. Um, here, we're not paying thousands of dollars our first year at least. Maybe um, the two years combined, maybe if you stay three, you will eventually pay $1,000 or thousands. But still, hundreds of dollars is a lot of money to be wasting on inconsistency or laziness or anything. So referring back to the quote, it, it says again that consistent people are the dead. Don't be the dead inconsistent person. Don't be the person who is not showing up to class, don't be the person who's not doing the homework, not studying, coming to class without a scantron, even though I've done that so many times. <clears throat> Make sure you're always on time and everything. And the last way that you can really stay consistent is just remember how you feel. Like remember the feeling that you have when you don't come to class and you're so stressed out, you're so anxious, you have no idea what happened in class, you're texting all your friends, messaging them on Canvas, asking what happened, no one's replying to you. It just adds so much more stress, it makes you more anxious and like I said, your goals are just deferred because you chose to be dead and inconsistent. So to conclude my statements, I'm just going to say that um, it's so much easier to just keep consistency within yourself. And thank you. <laughs> we get everybody gets a second bite of the apple in just a minute. All right. Well, the, the greeting, of course, is kind of interesting. Good morning. And everybody responds, hey, good morning. You know, it's like we haven't been here for an hour, but you know, that's okay. It worked okay. And you identify your topic effectively. You introduce the quote. Uh, I like the, the kind of link that you have for your purpose statement with the quote. That That's going to work fine. Um, there's not really a preview of what the supporting structure is. You're going to have a couple of examples that you mentioned, and that's fine. And they all they all kind of relate to this audience, so that works effectively. the The presentation there are some things that are really solid. You look at everybody. You your facial expressions are engaged, uh, and I think your voice is very effective. You 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 speak up. You're very fluid while you're speaking. You sound like you know where you're headed, and you're making your point. And even though you might have a half of a second of a, a hesitation to get to the next idea, it doesn't sound like it's a big, oh, I don't know what I'm saying next. It's just a natural sort of thing that's going on there. So that works really well. The, um, like I said, your eye contact's really solid. Somebody want to tell us uh, where all of her nervous energy is coming out? Yeah, there you go. You, you are, you're turning around the watch that you're not wearing. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I got it on the wrong direction. Let me turn it this way. And it, it just, it's like you are washing your hands and uh, <laughs> rotating the watch on your arm repeatedly. That's where all of your anxiety is coming out. And instead of, you know, being engaged with us and using those gestures to kind of continue the connection with us that you're giving us the other way, you're, it's a distraction. So 
that'll be something to pay attention to. You'll see it in the video. You say, why am I doing that? And you'll know it's all anxiety. That's what it is. Okay, thank you.